This Shabbat we read the portion Beshalach from the book of Exodus, which describes the actual exodus itself of the Israelites from Egyptian slavery as they crossed the sea and sang this glorious song as they reached the other side and the Egyptian army chasing after them was vanquished. It's also known as Shabbat Shira, the Shabbat of song, because the Haftarah, the prophetic reading for this Shabbat, also describes another victory of Israelites during the settlement of the land as described in the book of Judges and describes one of the victories over the, one of the Canaanite settlements in northern Israel. And so these two victories, two military victories, are celebrated in this Shabbat of song. And so that raises the question, is it really to, appropriate to sing about such victories? Certainly, the Israelites needed all the support and help they got from God in order to be saved from persecution and oppression. But this, the question still remains for us 3,000 years after these events took place, what is the appropriate venue for celebration? What are the appropriate moments to sing and glorify in such a way? Is military victory, as the Torah and the Haftarah describe, an appropriate way to sing and to celebrate? Or maybe we should ask the question this way and think about it this way. <clears throat> Both celebrate the idea that a minority people are able to overcome the oppression and persecution that they were experiencing in their lives and were able to achieve a moment or the opportunity to be able to become uh, open, to be, to be in charge of their own uh, identity and their own fate and destiny. And that is what we are celebrating when we read the portion from the Torah and we read the Haftarah on this Shabbat Shira. May it also motivate us to help other minorities achieve the freedom that all of us deserve. Shabbat Shalom.